So my buddy Alex and, and I found this charter online. We were wanting to do some paddle fishing. I've always wanted to do it. And found this guide service, STL Catfish and Spoonbill, is that right? It's 250 a person for four hours. For live scope, apparently we're gonna be live scope and they don't actively bite. These spoonbills don't actively bite on any lures or anything like that because I believe they're filter feeders. So we're gonna be snagging them. Uh, we're gonna be using live scope and snagging them. Uh, there is a season for them, which we are within season, um, but it is a small window to be able to do this. So we're seizing the opportunity and uh, yeah, that's we're gonna try to get on some. Well, the, the charter just sent my buddy Alex that picture. Uh, they just got those, they're coming in. So they're on them, they found them. So hopefully we're able to do the same. All right, we've met with the captain here. We're gonna hop on the boat and things are looking pretty good. Back here, I take it. It's right, always a good so sign when there's blood in the boat. boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> that he rolls out, you know. Yep. So we're just kind of trolling along now, looking at the live scope, seeing if we can find out where the where the fish are. This is kind of a, the rig that we're going to be using. Two big trebles on there, and we're just pretty much going to sight fish them with the live scope. So be something I've never done before. It'd be a little bit different of an experience, but uh, I'm hoping I can get the hang of it and we can get on a couple. So when I get a spoon bill in front of you, you guys are going to be, I'll tell you to pitch it. Yeah. I'll tell you to set it. And I'll tell you to jerk it. So this is all 100% you. Tip down, set it. Jerk. Reel it in. Set it. Jerk. Just a matter of just getting the right hook set on it and the right cast on it. Pretty cool thing about using these live scopes is that you can target exactly which fish you want. So if you see one that's a little bit smaller and you don't want to waste your, your limit on that, you can pass up and find a, a bigger one. So tip down. Set it. Jerk. Oh. You smoked these bills. What happened? Yep. Try it. Brick wall. Tip down. Set it. Jerk. Well, Alex, what do you think, bud? Totally different way of fishing, right? This, this 41 year old's got a lot to figure out still. <laughs> mm, tip down. Set it. Try it. Tip down. Set it. Reel just a little. Mm, jerk. That was one of your closer hits, for sure. Jesse, I can tell you, by far, this is one of the most frustrating things I've done in a long time. <laughs> Man, this is uh, definitely a different experience. It's fun, it's a good time for sure. It can be very frustrating though, because you see that fish right there, you can see your line, and it's just, when you miss them, you, it gets frustrating. There's no doubt about that, but it is a type of fishing I have never done before. And I just really hope that we can get onto a couple, couple of them. I'd like to at least get one a piece, that's my goal. Ain't got to set the world on fire, but if, if we can just get one or two in the boat, that would be awesome. Oh, oh there I you knew go. he had it. Keep it over the... Keep it like sure. Shove that rod there. How's you feel, Alex? 
Pretty heavy, huh? Heavy, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't give it no slack. Whatever you do, so don't don't reel up. Really got down. No, you can, but when you reel down, you got to keep tension on it. Just bring her up easy and reel down slow to it. Just keep your line tight. That's all that matters. Yeah, just like that. I should have peed before I finished this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy. Kind she dove off in the mud and see her muddy face. Yep. <laughs> oh, the hook it was. Buddy. Small those freaking eyes on her. You got one, buddy? Dude, that's ridiculous. What do you think that weighs, man? 40 pounds. About 40? Some wild looking fish, man. He's marking them. Yep. Well, we got one on the board. Now I gotta get one on the board. Yeah. A little bit on you. Wrapped <laughs> around it. <laughs> Ready to go to the mailbox. Half inch short. Half inch short, huh? Yep. Half inch short. All right, just glad I got into one. Short, we're gonna have to throw this one back and try to get back on them. First. Oh yeah, he's on it. You want me to get that gas? Yeah, that'd be all right. It'll go right through him. Straight Pull him straight up, straight up, up like a bag of flour. Captain Jesse here, gaffing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> my first gaff. That's my first, not my first bird's nest. Because <laughs> I don't want to do it. Yeah, you did a pretty good bird. I did. Alright, we got the bird nest out. I'm going to try to get on another one. Yeah, let her sink, let her sink, let her sink. Set it. Jerk. Oh, I was just going to say you got oh, it. Yeah. First cast. <laughs> I think we're getting the hang of this now. Thirty-five. I was an inch off. Thirty-five and a quarter. Somewhere. And what's it got to be? Thirty-four. All right. Missouri or the Mississippi River is only thirty-two inches. Huh. All depends on body of water, huh? It does. <laughs> Bam. All right. Now I got to get on a keeper. Is that it? 
jerk. Got him. This one seems quite a bit bigger. It's surfacing now. Nice. <laughs> Dude, that was like barely. Just glad I got one, a keeper. And this old boy knows what he's doing. I'm telling you that right now. Set it. Jerk hard. That was a great one. All. That was beautiful. <laughs> Dude, that was so good. <laughs> you got to see, I mean, the hooks hit. Yeah. That was awesome. Man, two back to back. I'll wear you out. Yeah. Guys, this is unreal. I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bringing in a barn door. I think it's bigger than the last one. If I get this one, We'll, we'll have reached our limit. There's no, there's no if. He's gonna get this one. Oh my god! Oh, look at that bad boy. Oh, holy cow! Dude, thanks, bud. Yes. Oh man, Take go ahead. More. This is exactly what I was hoping for right here. Probably about 50 pounds. Cooler it up. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. That was absolutely awesome. We are limited out. Our guide. He's still got one more he's going to try to get on, and I'm just going to take take it easy, sit back, and let this uh, let my nerves <laughs> calm down a little bit. My legs are shaky. My, my arms are shaky. I got to let the adrenaline rush wear off a little bit. All right, he found one more. Hopefully, we can get on it, and we'll all be limited out. That's good, though, because I don't think there's any more room in that, <laughs> that live well. Oh, brother. <laughs> Got him. And that's how you do it, boys and girls. She's running. She's ripping some drag. It is running. Gaff, Whoa, please. Oh, buddy. Gaff, please. Yep. Can we take your ride? You can't touch a rod, you're limited out. Limited out. <laughs> there we go. Guys. Now that's what I call a good day right there. I am gonna have to get a new hoodie though. I don't think that's blood stains coming out. That's all right. <laughs> all right, we're limited out and uh, Captain Andrew is going to take us back to our place on the waterfront. That way the boys can see these fish before we get them filleted. I think they're gonna be pretty excited to see these. Those pretty much like a power pole? Yeah, they're 15 foot anchors. Oh, nice. Buddy, you ready to see some of these crazy fish, bud? Mm -hmm. 
We slammed them. Ready? Yeah. Woo! Jeez. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Those are huge. James, look at those. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh. Holy cow. What do y'all think? That, that one right there is a massive one. They're like dinosaurs, James. <laughs> Siphons? What's the... They have no bones in them. What? No bones oh, is it all cartilage? All cartilage. All right, Captain Andrew is going to be cutting these fish up. We're going to bag them and put them in the freezer. This is a lot of fish. Ah, we're going to be giving a lot of it away because there's no way I can eat all this. Buddy, uh, <laughs> you get, hey, you get some blood on you? Yeah, look on my lip. <laughs> you did, you got it in your mouth. Ah. Oh. Whoa, is that like sturgeon? Ah. Caviar. That's so much. Do, we keep Do people eat pets? that, man, or no? It's highly sought after. There, or is the other one better? Not bad. <laughs> I don't feel it. No, no. Really? No, you did. Yeah, no, you did. Come. I think that boy knows how to drive a boat. That boy knows how to drive a boat. <laughs> yes. And he knows how to fish. Golly, man. Well, I think today was a pretty successful day. I had an absolute blast. It was everything I was hoping for. So sometimes my fishing trips don't go as planned, but this one went perfect. If you guys want to try this trip, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Uh, STL Catfishing, I believe. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, we're out here in Missouri. They've got uh, several charters that come out here and do this. Uh, but telling you what, this guy knows what he's doing. You want to do it? Get a hold of him. 45 pounds of fillets. That's not a bad day. <laughs>